everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with Minho on this grand adventure we call life. Hello. Yeah, great to have you back, buddy. Oh god, here we go. Well, you're not excited for this? Um, can't say that I am looking at the tags. Damn, SMH right now. Wait, what? I haven't seen the tags yet, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I just saw funny gay. Alright. Alright, so the wheel has spoken for us. So we are going to be reading uh, a Sam X Reader, aka from Stardew Valley. Which is funny, because right after we do this, we're playing Stardew Valley. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I found three. One of them was labeled mature, like, indefinitely, <laughs> based off of the title alone. The other one kind of looked like, eh, but then I saw this one. Let me pull it up. It's it's called, out of all the people, Sam X Mail Reader. So I think we're in for a treat today. I think so. Yeah. What are we going to name our character this time? I have no idea. Wow, what are these tags that you're setting? Oh, we're trans! Okay. Are female we? to yeah, this is a, oh, apparently in the uh, trans reader. Yeah, female to male, trans reader, male reader. What Ooh, is please. FTM? F FTM? Yeah. Male to of uh, female to male. Okay. Yeah. I got it. gotcha, gotcha. And the same thing in reverse, so male to female. Yeah. Well, I thought it was gay. Well, I I mean, we went from female to male. So if we still like guys, then that technically makes us gay now. Oh, female to male, like yeah. a transition. <laughs> yes. Okay, I thought it was like talking about like two protagonists. Oh. Like there's a female and a male, and then it's gay. I'm like, huh? <laughs> He's a little confused, but he got the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the math is not math enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't wait for this. The only thing that in the description is. Forever and always, my love, with disclaimer, I do not own Sardew Thadley or any of these characters. P.S. I made the cover, but I do not own the art in the cover. <laughs> Perfect. Is this Sebastian smoking a cigarette? Yeah, I think that, I think it's that. Like, they didn't make this, but they made the rest. <laughs> Alright, I love an honest reader. Well, honest author. Alright, skip this author's note. Alright. Oh, wait, give me like five seconds. Five seconds to what? <laughs> Well, anyway, let's let me clear out this uh, thing real quick. All right, I, back. I almost broke my fucking neck. Oh, I did. Okay. All right, what are we naming Wyan? Hmm. Hmm. What was it before? Bill Gates. Yeah. When the fuck did we? Is oh it... yeah, that, yeah for the Hero Brian one. Yeah, we named we named the go Bill Gates. It's a it's a male reader. Yeah, it's a male reader. Um. Yeah, we probably I just... decided the last one. You can do this one. Oh, God. First Bill Cypher, and now Bill Gates. What's this one maybe? Is there another Bill that we can make fun of? Bill Nye. Bob the oh, Bill. Bill Nye! Oh, Bill Nye. <laughs> Bill, I'm going to just make it one name for now. What is it? N-Y-E? Uh, N-Y-E, yeah. Bill Nye. Yeah, yeah. I'll just make it one name for right now. I don't know if anything else will come in, but we got... I'm going to name him... Instead of Bill Nye, I'll call him Science Guy. <laughs> so you can call him Bill Nye, I'll call him Science Guy. Nice. <laughs> oh, if, I, if like L -Y L N is in here, like last name, we can do like Bill Nye first name, the Science Guy last name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only if. We'll see. Alright, the writing will get better. Don't worry, I'm just lazy to edit. Alright, not based. Alright, we don't have to change any, what is it, like shoulder length hair. Nah, I'm gonna s colored. let me skim and see if I find anything out of the ordinary. No, I'm not seeing any parentheses of any kind, so I think we're good for right now. Alrighty. Cool. Alright, where's my coin? I don't know where my coin is. <laughs> okay, alright, we're gonna flip my my Pokemon my copy of Pokemon Sword. So, uh which side do you wanna be? Do you wanna be the side with the, the, the dog with the sword or the, the instructions on the back? Uh, instructions. I'm an instructions kind of guy. Alright, instructions, you go first. Dog, I go first. 
Oh shit. <laughs> I have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bill knife POV. Another day, another dollar. That's what people say, right? Well, not me. I say, another day, please no more days. Working at Joe just sucks balls. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you wanna know why? Because every day I go into my boring old office job and check in and every day I get called the wrong name and underpaid. Well, fuck this, because as soon as I get enough money for my surgery, I'm quitting. Oh shit. Surgery? You, some people, when they transition, they get surgeries to make sure they don't have, like, body dysphoria. So, okay. yeah, since we're going, like, since it, according to this, it's female to male, it could be, like, a breast deduction and whatnot. Okay, I thought he had some, like, sickness, <laughs> and he was just saving him for surgery. Yeah, oh, watch it be that, actually. <laughs> watch it just be, like, we've had, like, heart problems. <laughs> yeah, he says liver cancer, and that's the whole plot. Yeah. It doesn't like nothing to do with his transitioning. <laughs> He's just dying of like, a, like liver failure or like kidney. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, he just dies. The end. Yeah. <laughs> oh sh oh shit! I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. You random lady at the bus stop. I introduced myself to her. He stares at me very confused and probably wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, looks like my bus is here. Bye, Todd! She says awkwardly and gets on the bus. What the hell? My name's not Todd. <laughs> so that's where it comes from. Yeah. What, what if it's just a running joke? Like, they didn't even call him, like, a feminine name. They just call him Todd! <laughs> <laughs> I walked into my flat, and to be honest, it looked like... It looked like... Fuck. It looks kind of like one of those worn-down motels. While I'm not complaining, at least people don't bother you to be friends, because I don't want friends. Holy... Deep down, they do want friends, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I threw my keys on, you know, some random direction, took off my shoes, and went to the kitchen. I was... I was gonna die to keep... If I keep working at my job, it, it's either be me or one of my co-workers that was probably secret ninjas. That, that'll kill me. I won't survive against a ninja. Back to the boo, I mean my life. Yeah. I grabbed some cereal to eat and sat down to watch TV. If I wanna- if you wanna know my backstory, I guess I can tell you. I came from a very loving and accepting family from Doncaster. LOL, couldn't be me. <laughs> <laughs> and they moved to the shithole called Drumroll. Please? Oh, I thought they're- <laughs> I thought the- I thought it was like they moved to a shithole called Drumroll. Because <laughs> the space thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the, uh, that's the name. Yeah. Drumroll. Yep. Yeah, Drumroll, please. America! Yay! <laughs> As I grew up, I knew as I didn't feel like a girl or want to be one. Because I wasn't a girl. So, after feeling that way at the age of five, I remember the first train of thought going through my mind was Dad getting that fucking daddy's girl shirt away from me. I'm not a girl. Though, if I was, I wouldn't wear a shirt that says daddy. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Based. <laughs> so, at the tender age of five, my parents were like, what the fuck is wrong with my kid? <laughs> because I wouldn't wear the clothes they gave me. So they asked what the fuck was wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I told them I wasn't a girl, and they were like, well, that fucking explains it. <laughs> Based, I love these parents already. They're like, what the fuck's wrong with you? And they're like, I'm not a girl. And they're like, oh, fuck. No, that, that explains a lot. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> then, as I grew up, they didn't have a lot of money, so we they couldn't pay for me getting hormone blockers or anything. So I unfortunately needed a surgery to get rid of my chest. After a while at the age of 17, after three years of me and my family working and saving, I had enough for top surgery. Yahoo, right? Keep in mind, I had two other siblings. They were twins. My parents had them when I was around 10 or 11, so money was very tight. Now I have a job, and although it may not be a very good one, I don't have any options right now. Or so I thought. Dun dun dun! <laughs> The sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm good at. It's on my resume. It's like a useless talent. 
<laughs> yeah, skills, soft skills. Yeah. <laughs> I had fallen asleep on my couch when I heard my alarm go off in my room. As I was on the couch, I couldn't turn it off, so I was forced to awaken to go to my dumb my dumbers job. All right. I got ready to work fast, and I couldn't find my keys to lock my door. I needed to pay more attention to where I put my fucking keys. I was looking through all my drawers, but when I saw one, I opened up an envelope. It was white and had a purple seal. I opened it and it said, Dear Bill Nye. Oh. Oh, fucking far name. We'll come up with that. I enclosed a deed to that place. My pride and joy. What's our farm name gonna- Like, what's our farm- Farm's name? Uh... What it relates to Bill and I. Science. The, the science lab. Hell yeah, the science lab farm. It's located in Sardew Valley, on the southern coast. It was the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. I love even in death, Grandpa respects our pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> I was low-key tearing up. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I remember how he told me when he told me when I felt crushed in modern society or some shit. I was too I was to open the letter. It was like 20 years ago when I first came out. Even though my grandpa was old and I was young, he understood me. That's why I'm going to continue his legacy as a farmer. Plus, I really fucking hate working at Joja. I called work and quit my job. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, at base, I quit. I quit my job too. <laughs> Farm name, the science lab. All right. F slash N <laughs> says this is effing amazing, and then it says this comment may be offensive. Wait, wait, in the last chapter. At the, yeah, at the bottom. Oh, yeah, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it may be offensive. Yeah, maybe. I love it. it, it probably because it has cuss words in it, it always flags that stuff. Yeah. Which is really funny. <laughs> Alrighty, all, all you on this one, man. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, chapter 2, Family of Elbows. Uh, hi. Science guys, POV. Alright, so I have packed all my things, and I got a bus to Stardew Valley. Whoever the fuck that is, I'm kind of skeptical of this town considering it's in a southern area and I'm well mean. But my grandpa wouldn't send me here if I was gonna get called names and shit. Right? I sure as hell hope so. I got on the bus and figured it was gonna be a long arse ride. Long arse ride? Is this guy British? Yeah. He Maybe. must be. And being on a bus with an annoying weirdo with an equally annoying Yorkshire accent wouldn't be very good. Oh uh, yeah, he's he's from he's British. He's oh, British. Wait, actually? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yorkshire is Yorkshire accent is from British huh. or from Britain, right? Hold Yorkshire on, look at accent. Yeah. Um, Yorkshire region of Northern England. Yeah. Oh shit, they actually are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, annoying Yorkshire accent wouldn't be very good. I know from experience considering I share a body with that exact suspect. So I sat by myself at the back and put in headphones. Soon enough I fell asleep. I was awoken from my sleep by the bus driver telling me this was the last stop. I grabbed my bags and walked off, and I was greeted by a slightly plump old man with a silly mustache. Hello, you must be science guy. I'm Mary Lewis, nice to meet you. Your grandpa and I were great friends. He introduces himself. Um, yeah. How you doing? I greeted him awkwardly. I didn't even notice until she started talking, but there was a beautiful ginger woman behind Lewis. I may be a gay... I, I may be a gay? Yeah, that's right. Is that like a noun? Okay, okay. But that was only an adjective. <laughs> okay, I may be a gay, but may I just say a wooga? That was some bars right there. Yeah. I may be a gay, but may I just say... A wooga. She just looked at me and said, Hey, I'm Robin. I'm a carpenter here in town. I have a shop as well. Now that I see her, 
Uh, now that I see her, she may be married and may be too old for me, too. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's gotta be married, and I'm too awkward to be straight anyway. Mm -hmm. Three of us walk a little ways before we reach a little cabin in an extremely overrun farm. I gasped in surprise. Yeah, the farm is a little messy, but nothing a little elbow grease can't fix, Lewis said enthusiastically. Maybe a family of elbows, not mine though, I mumble, starting regret, starting to regret my decision. The cabin's a bit of an eyesore, but nothing I can't fix. Robin exclaims. Uh, Lewis scoffs. Don't listen to her, she just... She's just saying that so you'll pay her to upgrade your house. She gasps in offense. Okay, if you need anything, just ask one of us. Go to the town. Go to the town and meet everyone. Oh, I'm getting so tripped up by these mini grammatical mistakes. There's like a missing a or a the. Just anywhere. I mean, this is how I yeah. would say it. But to be fair, I can't speak or text properly, so. Okay, if you need anything, just ask one of us. Go to town and meet everyone when you feel like it. Lewis explains. He and Robin wave by and leave. Finally, I hate social situations. I don't hate people. I just don't know what to say when I don't really know the person. Based. That's me. But I feel like that's just the autism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to meet everyone here. I face palm thinking about the embarrassing shit I'll, I'll in that inevitably spew when talking to these people. I hope there aren't a lot of people to meet, or maybe it would be better if there were a lot of people. Maybe they won't remember the shit I'm saying because they have to remember what Kathy next door said. Yeah, yeah, that's a good strategy. I'll just say, did you hear what Kathy said? No. What if there's no one named Kathy? Hmm, a true predicament. Well, may as well check out my new house. I walk in the door is creaky as fuck. It's a pretty nice place. Better than my last one. Hey, this one's free. I don't have to pay shit. <laughs> I see a package on my new table. I walked up to it and opened it. There was a note inside that said, Hey, science guy. There are some parsnip seeds inside to get you started. I hope you enjoy your time here. Mayor Lewis. Man, I love that, like, uh, like the beginning of the next one is, fuck, I forgot I actually have to do farm shit. In the last chapter, he was like, I get to continue my grandfather's legacy and, 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 and bring honor and get to, like, live my life. And now we're like, we actually have to do shit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, frick, I forgot how to actually farm stuff. I still have to work and I have to learn how to plant seeds. I do enjoy parsnips. Wait, do I have to buy food or do I just grow it? Hmm, I'm full of questions today. I got outside and look at the instructions on the back of the parsnips. So it's pretty straightforward, I guess. I hoed the <laughs> ground and planted my parsnip seeds. I found some tools by the house as well as a watering can. I watered the plants. Now that I was finished with that shit, I went into into town to meet people. I was pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I saw a pretty ginger girl, maybe around my age. She had two children next to her. Kids scared me, so I didn't talk to them. I decided to walk around, and if people talked to me, maybe I would be able to have a conversation. I walked past the place that said the general store. Hmm, I'll go in. I walked through the door, which caused the bell to ring. Welcome, you must be the new farmer Mayor Lewis mentioned. I'm Pierre, I run the shop. The supposed Pierre says, Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Science Guy. I say slightly more confident than before with Lewis and Robin. So, what brings you here today, he asks. Uh, I'll just walk around the town to see where everything is, I explain. I see, well, if you want, I can help you meet everyone down here, but if you want to meet the people who live on the mountain, you're going to have to go up there yourself. Pierre says, smiling. Yeah, that would be great. Thanks. I say secretly, very thankful that I didn't need to walk around the whole town. Alright, I've met everyone except for the family that lives on the mountain, which I've learned is Robin's family. Which I've also learned means she is indeed married and has kids. Damn it. 
<laughs> it's always the hot gingers that are like unavailable. SMH. <laughs> <laughs> she's older than I thought. I'll meet them tomorrow when I check out what she's selling. I go home and check on my crops. Since there's a fair amount of daylight, I decided to keep working. I started to clear out some fallen pieces of wood, weeds, and other stuff. I got a bit tired after a couple of hours, so at like 6.20, I went walking. I found this cool spot on the mountain near Robin's house in a mine. I'll say hi to her tomorrow. I sat by the lake for a while. I took out a cigarette and my lighter. I put it between my lips and tried to light it, but no matter how many times I tried, it wouldn't light. Um, crap. <laughs> God dang this stupid lighter, I grumble angrily. You've got quite a colorful mouth, huh? Someone said behind me. <laughs> I jumped, causing my cigarette to fall into the lake. What the actual heck, I yell. That was my last cigarette. You need a light, they ask? Well, I would if you didn't. I stopped as I turned around and saw who was asking. Dang, he's hot as frick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> say one has, just say that. Just say fuck. This one man. has more... More, uh... What is it? Swear words than yeah. the other one we were reading. Which know. had like seven books in a row at the beginning. Yeah. No, it's colorful language. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very colorful. Um, if I didn't, what? He asks. If you didn't scare me into dropping my last freaking cigarette, I said angrily, angrily as I snapped out of my trance. I kicked the rock like a child getting mad at the fact that they didn't get a happy meal. Relax, I have some with me. Well, I only brought one. I have more at my house. We can share for now, but I'll pay you back later. He chuckled. Oh my as long God. as I get- This is gonna be a fucking, like, indirect kiss. Dude, what the hell? Oh my gosh, already? Yeah, based. <laughs> as long as I get a freaking cigarette, I don't care where it's from. Especially if it's from an absolute lad like you. I flirt. He looks at me surprised, but continues with the conversation. So, are you the new farmer here? He asks as he lights the cigarette and takes a puff before passing it to me. Yeah, I got here today. I'm Science Guy, I reply, taking a puff as well. We keep passing it back and forth. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town, he asks with furrowed brows. Yeah, it's a lot better than working at some dumb freaking Joji company, I say matter-of-factly. I like riding out to the city way better than being here, he says as he lays back with his legs over the edge of the lake. I copy his movement, as we continue to pass the city. Well, living in a place and seeing it are two very different things, I mumble. He looks at me as if he wants to say something, but he stays quiet. What's your name? I never did get it, I chuckle. Oh, it's Sebastian. Yes, I forgot to say, he replies after a long puff. We sit there even after the Siggies burn out. Siggies? I thought it was just one Siggy. I don't know. <laughs> Did they get another one? Maybe they just grabbed the one from the lake where they stuck their hand in, found it, and <laughs> Oh god, ew. <laughs> I haven't known this guy for a day, but the silence between us was oddly comforting, not awkward like usual. It gets pretty late after a couple of hours. I get up. Uh, well, Sebastian, it was nice smoking with you, but I gotta go, I say. Bye, science guy, he hums out, still laying on the ground. I walk away and back to my house to get some sleep. Oh yeah, we're getting some... De they finally met. Oh shit. Finally. Wait, is there actually a Kathy in Stardew Valley? Is there? I don't know, it just says so. chapter 3 is just don't say Kathy. Um... I don't, it doesn't, I don't think there is. It's Caroline? Is Jody? I don't know. Well, well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe Kathy is short for Caroline? Maybe. Is Kathy short for Caroline? Just knock that shit over. It's fine. Look, the switch is no, okay. No, it's Callie. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Uh, oh, I, I didn't guess read this the person is... Oh, wait, wait. There's comments? Her son is even better. For real, Robin is pretty much like. <laughs> I love the fucking Awuga. Yeah, because Grandpa is slaying poggers. With the fucking nail thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right. I guess this person that like uh, this the username constant fear butter is British because they open the next chapter with bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even hiding anymore. They're like, all right, they figured it out. That's with it. The I'm... Yorkshire accent. I'm gonna go to my nearest port and jump tea down there. I just wrote a whole chapter only for this dumbass app to delete it. I'm absolutely sniffed. Sorry if it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. Third person POV. Sun rises over Pelican Town. Orange, reds, and pinks paint the lab- the science lab farm. All was quiet, the air was sweet, and the sky was slowly brightening. Marnie's rooster hollers in the distance. Nothing could ruin this moment. If that bloody rat doesn't shut its mouth, I will! <laughs> the new <laughs> farmer yells out. All was quiet! But what you didn't expect was to wake up an angry Yorkshire man at 5 a.m. Wait, don't they get up at like 6 in the game? Anyway. <laughs> Falling to- Failing to fall back asleep after his early outburst, he attempts to rise from his bed. He trips over his covers- Yeah, you know, he trips over his covers and falls straight on his head. Bloody motherfucking Mary! You- <laughs> I'm really trying with the British thing. <laughs> <laughs> this this rasp feeling of dull ache of his head. He continues to this fight to insert injury. His Oh, skin color. What skin color are we giving him? Oh now it shows up. Yeah. Tan. Um uh, Tan. Yeah. The tan man walked this time successfully to his bathroom to brush his teeth. Only to find his toothbrush has fallen into the bin. Oh, dude, the, today is not his day. He try, he's gonna check the TV later, and it's gonna say, like, the spirits are very vengeful. Okay. <laughs> but will yeah. not be on your side. He's gonna be stepping on Legos. Yeah, oh, no. Not having another, another, he simply forgets about it and continues to get ready. He showers only to have his day worsen, as once again he realizes he has no dick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I hate that when I walk in the shower and I'm like, oh, oh, where my dick at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a first world problem, I gotta say. Now with extreme dysphoria, a headache, and bad breathing, he gets out of the shower and puts on his clothes. He, he sits down by his new TV and turns it on. He starts flipping through the channels before landing on the fortune t I fucking knew it! <laughs> I, I'm called it. He's gonna turn on the TV and he's gonna be like, the spirits are hating you today. <laughs> <laughs> he's not hopeful that would be anything good. Welcome, everyone watching who looks like they have someone new with us today. A young man in Stardew Valley, the TV blared. He scrunched his nose in disbelief. No fucking way, he whispered. The TV continues on. The spirits are very displeased today and will try to make your life difficult. Well, no fucking wonder my life sucks. <laughs> He decides he's had enough TV, and, turn and turns out the door. The short man starts watering the turnips and picking anything out of the garden that shouldn't be there. He still has time, before he goes to see Robin and her family, so he decides to clear up the farm a bit. He starts to get anxious, thinking about, the about saying the wrong thing when he meets Robin's family. So, to drain out the sound of his, his thoughts, he chops down a tree and then another, until his watch beeps for him for it to be time for him to go. He started to walk to Robin's house. What if I say something weird and they don't like me? Well, it wouldn't be the first time I, I wouldn't have it friends. Shut up. No, you shut up. What the fuck am I, am I arguing with myself? As long as I don't say anything dumb, like mention Kathy or something. Don't mention her. <laughs> Who's <laughs> Kathy? No one's- there's no one named Kathy. <laughs> oh. He soon was at Robin's house as he knocked on the door. Robin answered the door, confused. She, he lit up as she, he, bleh, she lit up as she saw him. Oh, hey, Belgate Nine. I, I, you didn't have to knock. My house is always the place of business, so you could have walked in. She says happily. Damn it! You already did some dumb shit. <laughs> of course, you aren't supposed to knock before going into someone's house. Stupid. So what brings? Yeah. 
So what brings you here? She asked. Oh, well, I've already met everyone in town except for your family. He says quietly. She gleams in excitement. Oh yeah, I forgot you're new. I'll go get everyone to meet you. She walks away to collect everyone. Despite knocking like an idiot, <laughs> I might do okay with for the rest. I need to focus on not saying anything dumb, like mentioning someone named Kathy. Like they don't really... Well, when they don't know anyone named Kathy. Don't mention Kathy. Do not mention Ka- Hey, I'm back, and I've- Did you hear what Kathy next door said? <laughs> 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 oh my so god. Oh, I, I- Dumb bitch. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? You just had to mention Kathy. No, no not this again. Everyone looks at him confused, but he keeps his head down in fear he might embarrass himself more. It was a long silence where he heard an amusing chuckle. Did you always say such weird things, Bill Nye? A weird- a familiar voice asks. The small man head shot up. Sebastian? He says. Armin looks surprised. Wait, you two already know each other? She asks, confused. Yeah, we met yesterday at the lake. He shared his sick. He interrupted only to be- he started, only to be interrupted by a certain purple hair man. Uh, a cigarfish. Oh, we shared a smoked cigarfish. He stuttered. The mis mischievous man grinned evilly as Sebastian made a don't say anything face. He smirked and, say and stays quiet. Uh, oh, okay. Robin says, even more confused. <laughs> <laughs> he introduces her daughter, Maru, and her husband, Demirius. They talked for a while about science, which confused the young man to no end, before a very embarrassed and slightly puzzled Bill Nye bids them farewell. As he walks out of the house, he hears a loud "boo" <laughs> from behind him. He screeches startled, motherfucker, before turning around to see he had the gall to scare a man such of himself. Of course, it was the new hot guy he just met. <laughs> Want to go to the lake? I just like how that previous paragraph, it was just, they talk about science. Yeah. And then the puzzled science guy bids them farewell. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, just yeah. matches up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just realized that. We're called fucking Bill Nye. And we're like, uh huh. Yeah. The, yeah. You know what? You're uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Science. Yeah. Pluto should be a planet. Anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go to the lake? Sebastian asks, still giggling from his successful scare. Bill and I playfully glares at him, but agrees. As they arrive, both boys take a seat at the same spot from last night as they stare at the crystal-like blue lake. Bill and I sits there wondering how many times he could skip a rock before the silence is broken. Thanks, Sebastian says quietly. Bill and I looked at him confused. For what? He hummed out, now taking his eyes off the lake. For not telling my mom about us smoking. I don't want her to worry, he replies, looking down at the small man. Bill and I looked at him smirking. Well, love, I'm, I might be a cheeky bastard, but I ain't no snitch. <laughs> if we're just gonna give Bill and I a fucking British accent. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes out of nowhere with the British accent. Yeah. Oh shit, when I said, like, well, love, I thought of the fucking Lego commercial where it was like, a man has fallen into the river and Lego <laughs> <laughs> Why? It sounded like the same voice in my head for some reason. Is it commercial in British too? I don't know. I don't know why. I just like when I when I said that, like I think it was just because the announcer kind of voice I did. Not because he was British. <laughs> <laughs> he explains. I always remember like the uh the Star Wars the Clone Wars I forgot like there was like this I think the general announcing every single episode recap for like the next episode, it was like a British accent. Was it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I, I think it was though. It was not like American. You're as a kid, you're like, something's off about the way he's <laughs> something's speaking. Off. I don't like it. <laughs> I think that guy's like um like a pretty famous voice actor as well. Hmm. But I forgot who it was. I couldn't tell you. Uh, but, oh yeah, he explains, sticking his tongue out. Sebastian chuckles at his actions. Well, I may say your mom is quite fit. I see where you get your look from. 
Bill Knight says cheekily. Cheekily. Sebastian looks at him bewildered. What? Are you flirting with me? Or my mom? He goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a sentence. <laughs> what if we were just like. These are like both. <laughs> <laughs> they both stared. Sorry to burst into laughter. Bill Knight lays back and Sebastian follows his movement. Suddenly, the mischievous man gets a mischievous idea. Have you ever tried a smilf before? He asks, excited. Sebastian slowly shakes his head no. Bill Knight shoots up in his shoots up to grab his backpack. He rummages through until he finds a tin case out. What is a smilf? <laughs> I I have no idea. He opens oh, it. What do you think it stands for? Weed. <laughs> <laughs> he opens it and reveals a couple of spilfs. He takes one out. Wanna try? He, question, he questions, wiggling in Sebastian's face. Uh, sure. Sebastian chuckles. I, I kinda wanna look this up. What the fuck is a sm- Blit <laughs> is a- Oh yeah, it's just a marijuana cigarette. Nice, dude. We're gonna get fucking stoned with Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> The short man. Oh, it's, it's just a blunt then. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna say blunt then. Who the fuck calls it a? I guess British people call it a. British <laughs> people. Yeah. <laughs> they call uh they call fries chips. Yeah. And uh, don't they call cigarettes something else that I'm not gonna say? Oh, like um. I know. A I know. Bum? <laughs> is it a bum? No, it, it isn't. I'll text it to you later. <laughs> no, I'm looking it up now. Oh. <laughs> Well, anyway. in British. Yeah, I think they call it a. Ah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> the short man pulls out the the weed between his lips. I guess the the blunt between his lips. Well, you lighter out, pretty boy, because this, in case you forgot, mine's out of juice. He hums through the the blunt. <laughs> the fashion guy saw his lighter and and inches closer. Bill's uh, inches closer. Bill's face. He lit the, sm the I'm just gonna say spill because it's too much for my brain to autocorrect. <laughs> he lit the spill while looking into his eyes. Bill Nye takes a long puff before blowing it into Sebastian's face. That's so fucking rude, my guy. <laughs> Sebastian took it and took a puff as well. Soon they were stoned off their minds. The purple haired boy started making funny facings. I can see my nose. Is that normal? He questions, looking at his nose. Bionar starts giggling uncontrollably as he falls on his back. What's so funny? Sebastian questions, but the tan boy just continues to laugh. Sebastian gets frustrated and tries to get closer, but falls on top of him. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. So now, he was towering over him and his elbows on either side of Bill Nye's head and his legs straddling him. They both got quiet as they stared into each other's eyes. I felt like an attorney before one, for someone had said something. What's so funny? Your face is just too bloody cute. <laughs> I swear <laughs> so he squeezes his face. <laughs> Thank you for reading his chapter. Yeah, yeah. It, his face turns beet red. You can, you couldn't take the con, con, the consistent flirting, but maybe it was just a European thing. He felt comfortable around the new farmer, which was odd considering he wasn't good at being social. You know, I wouldn't mind you sitting here all day looking all pretty, but I do need to get home, Bill and I flirts. Sebastian realizes he was still on top of him. He scrambles off with a bright red face. Bye, love. I'd best be getting home. Bill and I slurs as he wobbles, smacking into a tree. <laughs> Wait, uh, are you sure you can get home? Sebastian asks, con concerned, wondering if he had been hurt. Of course I can, Sebby boy. He yells at the tree. Sebastian <laughs> giggles, but was still worried. He worried. He offers, "You should come with me. My house is closer." Then I walks over to him as he stabilizes himself. I don't mind going home with such a pretty thing as you. He slurs his own words. I thought we're stoned. He's acting like he's drunk right now. Yeah, that is... <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well... I don't know if this author has ever been high before. Yeah. 
Hey, Gingy, you were high once in your life, right? Yes, and? Uh, is it accurate to what I've been reading so far? I don't know, I haven't been listening. Oh. <laughs> okay. He wouldn't be bumping into the tree, he would just be staring at the tree for two hours. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't be at- Gingy, when you're stoned, do you act like you're drunk or what? Is that not a thing? No, I'm just like giggly. Okay, okay, okay. So the giggling thing was right. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Oh shit, I forgot where we- I was- I was too busy being like, this doesn't seem right. Uh, he slurs his words. Oh, or yeah. you should come with me. Oh, pretty thing. Oh, he slurs his words, although it might be due to his accent and not the spill. Sebastian, once again, for the millionth time, turns red. He couldn't stop getting flustered, but he couldn't deny that he liked it. He, he walks him back to his house. The door opens as a piece to make sure his parents weren't here. He sneaks in and walks him down the to his room. He decides to let Bill sleep on the bed, considering he was too high to stand up straight. He lays him down, taking off his shoes, and covers him up. Sebastian stops for a minute to adore the sleeping man. He had just met him yesterday, but everything he says, his name, gets, he gets a rush. Stepping out of his thoughts, he starts to walk and feels a tug in his arm. He turns to see Bill Nye looking at him with half-opened eyes. <laughs> okay, hold on. Mustering <laughs> that the British accent. <laughs> you gotta do it with the British accent now. <laughs> Stay with me, love. He whispers. No, that wasn't British enough. That wasn't he, fucking he British had to enough. whisper it. <laughs> Stay with me, love. <laughs> he whispers. That wasn't a whisper. I'm not doing it, it again. wasn't a whisper. <laughs> He's slowly closing his eyes. Sebastian turns red, but he assumes Bill Nye is dreaming. Sebastian moves Bill Nye's hand off his wrist slowly and turns to walk away. Where are you going, love? Bill Nye asks, slowly sitting up. To get extra blankets for the pallet, Sebastian replies quickly, turning away. Bill Knight pulls him onto the bed. To sleep here, he mumbles, turned tired from the long day. Okay, Sebastian replies, kind of hesitant. Ugh, it's too fucking hot in here, he rumbles as he removes his shirt. Sebastian turns red, completely fluttered by the situation. Wait, 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 wait. Did- Oh, that was- that was us. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's too fucking hot in here. It's too fucking hot in here. Yeah. Completely flattered by the, flustered by the situation. Bill Knight grabs the blanket, pops it on his head on Sebastian's chest, and Koala hugs him. Too tired and stoned to do anything else, he quickly falls into a deep, comfortable sleep. To be continued. Find out what happens next in Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> Now do it in a British accent. Oh, yeah. Find out what happened next in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> uh... Don't, don't worry about it. We'll I fucked that it. one up. <laughs> I, can't, I don't... I don't know how to do it that well. I keep it consistent. <laughs> Find out what happens next time. <laughs> <laughs> That's close enough. Close enough. Yeah. So what'd you think? <laughs> it was... British. <laughs> it sure was. British. I'm it so... was British-ish. Yeah, I'm so used to the y like the YN person being like... Like, so one-dimensional, just being like... Just up, like, just like... It's not even like flavored water, they're just water. <laughs> like, they're so fucking plain. So, it was a nice refresher to see them as someone different. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't wait for the, the character development between our protagonist, Bill Nye, the science guy, and Sebastian. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna be working on, uh, what is it, Science Lab 4? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this should be good. Alrighty, well, it's time for us to spin the fucking wheel to see what happens next time. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so as long as it doesn't land on Sam- uh, Sebastian X Reader, we'll read it. Hopefully it's not fucking Shane, I will shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, alright, well, 
Marine and Sosan. Is that your like favorite one? Dude, it is. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> Dude, Zosan is so good. It was like what I mean, it's the reason why I have the Wattpad book club as it is. So, I'm very excited. Well, I guess that's gonna do it. So in the next one, I get to introduce you to Zosan, even though you've never oh, watched boy. One Piece. <laughs> you're gonna be- I bet you're gonna be commentating the most. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, this reminds me of this arc, and- <laughs> 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 Or like how they do it with the character, like that shit, and you'll be like, Cool, so uh, when are we gonna get to the gay stuff? <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen One Piece, so I, I will have no context. Dude, watch it. <laughs> you gotta watch it. What You gotta watch it before it ends. Because then you'll be there for when they actually figure out what the One Piece is. Yes, they'll find the One Piece. Well, you gotta know what it is. The One Piece of the pizza. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> well, anyway. My name is Phoenix, that was Minho, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!